Hey guys, Jared here with Five Pack Magic. Man, what a crazy past couple days. Moving here from Arkansas, I don't even have all my stuff. I still have a bunch of crap parked in my car. Um, we are in Palmer, Mass, which is pretty much the center of the state, but it's not in the busy area. More towards the western part in Springfield, Mass, is where you'll have a lot of the uh, Targets and Walmart, Barnes and Nobles, and things like that. So celebrations came out today, and I was laying in bed uh, looking at everybody on the Massachusetts Facebook group talking about already being in line and buying stuff, and uh, it's it's 9:18 a.m. I'm already late. I know that, but I I got to come out and try. So I'm not sure what kind of a video I'm gonna give you guys. I'll tell you what, if this video is posted, oh, I found celebrations. Uh, we are gonna try our best, see what's up. I haven't even scouted anything out yet. I'm tired, I haven't had breakfast, um, but I, I gotta do this uh, for everybody, me and you. So we are going to Walmart first, for some reason. You know, I don't like Walmart's on release day, uh, but we're gonna see what's going on out there. All right guys, so Walmart didn't have anything. Um, I checked the front and then I thought about it. I was like, I wonder if this is one of those Walmarts where they keep it up at customer service and they definitely do. The lady was super nice up there. Um, I was excited to see that they actually do have Pokemon product up there. Um, obviously no celebrations. I don't think Walmart really gets involved with release day kind of stuff. Um, she said that no one's been there to stock up, so I didn't miss on anything. And I don't know if they have a limit either. I got a feeling all these Walmarts are probably going to be keeping it behind the counter because um, based on what I remember from about 10 years ago, I was just at one of the nicer Walmarts. So we'll see what's up. Um, anyways, I'm on my way to GameStop because they open up in a half hour. I wanted to be there about a half hour before they open. Um, I do see people waiting in line already based on conversations on Facebook. There are three different GameStops to go to, so I pick the GameStop I think is going to be the least likely to have people waiting. We'll see. Um, and I, from inside information I heard, they actually got quite a bit. And the cool part about GameStop and Target, but specifically GameStop, is they really limit how much you can buy to make sure everyone gets a chance and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be one ETB per person and probably one collector pin box per person um, so even if there's a line of 10 people we actually still have a pretty good chance so that's where we're heading right now Alright guys, so we got lucky. We got this uh, memories box. You got Blaine's Charizard and you got Dark Sylveon on it. Pretty cool. Um, also, absolutely love this because if you guys have been watching my stuff, you know I was on a mad hunt for giant Charizard. And I didn't know there was a new Metroid game that came out today. And I played Metroid as a kid, so why not grab it for Switch? Um, guys, I'm going to open this up at a later date because I got to go unpack a U-Haul and move into my new house, but thank you for watching my first card hunting video in Massachusetts. Successful, it's gonna be a little bit harder here, but we're gonna figure it out. 